Isn't it crazy how like a hundred, a hundred, um, like how a hundred uh, positive things people can say to you sticks in your head just as much as one negative thing that it yeah. you're saying to yourself. Like I always think it's crazy how like the worst thing that you can do is let somebody else um, ensure the negative criticism that's in your head. You know what I mean? If yeah, you let yeah, someone yeah. do that, you've already lost. Cause like you get a, you get a, um, let, let me give you an example. You get a, let's say someone's like, Oh, this piece is brilliant. You know, you feel good yeah. for that moment, but it's really easy to let it go. You know, you don't yeah. harp on it all day, but if yeah. someone's like, God, that is God awful. That is dog water. Get out of here. You're probably like thinking about <laughs> shit, it all day. Shit. You're like, yeah, out of the way, yeah. <laughs> my dog water. Like, <laughs> um, and it's, it's, one of the things you have to realize is you got to let go. You know, you got to let go of the negative just like as, as just as well as you let go of the positive, you know, yeah. you feel it for a second, you think about it. And if it's actual criticism, because there's a difference between someone being like, Hey, you know, this piece needs another thing. Maybe you should try this. Something who knows something about sculpting or something who knows something yeah. about what I do. Um, that's like positive criticism. You're like, yeah. and you're like, maybe you'll be like, damn, that hurts a little bit, but like, you learn from it and you grow. And then someone yeah, no, like, yeah. your dog water. Like they're just being a, a hater, you know? Yeah. 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 No, definitely. Not, definitely. I have to be yeah. really that. Yeah. Cause I feel like you've got, um, I've got, that's something I am learning a lot more is that, that, Get, analyzing your ego a little bit and just constantly like i'm trying to always keep it in check a little bit and realize when people say things like say it's just a thought it's just a, it's just they don't have any power it's just, it's just a thought at the end of the day and try and remember that it's hard too though i still you know it's easy saying it right now <laughs> but uh, it's hard to like just let them let them just channel through and not not not, yeah. not be like say cling a hold to you because uh, it's I, even i got even i can say the same, same thing when you, you get a positive um comment sometimes it's I mean, this way we are British wise, but sometimes when someone says nice things to you, like you go, Oh yeah, it's all right, it's all right. It's it's yeah. It's all right. you you poo poo and it's like, no, maybe we just accept that. So he's like accept it. Like, it's like, no, it was good, yeah, okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's good, it's good, and you just accept it, like saying and feel it, and yeah, like, like you said, you say and 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 then everything else that doesn't, you know, serve you any purpose, you just let it go, shouldn't you? And so and I'll, I'll just take the criticism on board, like you say, because I do feel like I've learned to um uh Looking from other fellow other kind of sculptors, I'm getting some. If it has been hard to kind of get critique a little bit, because obviously when we early starting out, you kind of want some kind of direction, you want some kind of like nod and them. And I've like reached out to some sculptors, and they're quite quite helpful and supportive. And it's like amazing to think of where I was viewers going. I've got a few little people giving me a little bit of support, and I know I'm so much better than I am then. I always sometimes love to look back sometimes at old sketchbooks and old drawings and think. Wow, I used to think I was really good then. Like, but how come I am now? And it's just sometimes it's a nice little confirmation to think, look, see, you are getting better. You are. It's just this nice progression thing. If you're keeping at it, you are. You know, are progressing something else. It's exciting to think, oh, I could, where could I be next? Then and I'm like, I'm only, I'm only still under thirty yet. So well, I've got one more year of being under thirty. They're like, oh, still the world's my oyster. Still feeling I could get more done. But at the same time, you always want to do more, more, more. Like instantly, don't you? But I've started to realize it's that journey. It's enjoyable, isn't it? It's enjoyable to progress. Instant gratification versus delayed gratification. It's yeah. so you put off something um, for instant gratification, like playing video games or uh, partying. You know, if you like, that's all good and fun once in a while. You know, but if you do it for mm -hmm. months on end, delaying things or pushing off things that you know you want to do or know you need to do, that's when it becomes. Yeah. A uh, one of the biggest things that I deal with is I'm a super anxious person. I deal with anxiety super bad. And so I got to like, if I have, I'm super hard on myself too. And so I have to like disassociate myself from those negative feelings. And it's one of the hardest things that I've ever like that I'm yeah. doing. Like, um, one of the worst things. So I'm a kicker in football and it's a head game, man. That is literally a yeah. head game. It's all in your head. And so like even yesterday I had a, I had a decent day. I didn't have a bad day. I didn't have a great day, but I didn't have a bad yeah. day. What by, by any stretch. And the last day I've been in my head about it thinking like, how did I do bad? You know, things like that. So it's like, you know, one of those things is you, you can't listen to those internal thoughts, you know, cause they're not you. And, yeah. and, everyone deals with them but like if you let them just circulate there and postulate 
man, yeah. you can find yourself in a world of hurt and no, it's not by any stretch yeah. or your imagination because you can feel it, you know? So yeah. just associating yourself with those negative thoughts and making sure you know that that's not you. Do you have like mechanisms or do you do, you, do any mechanisms to try and like to distouch it? Are you, are you still working? Yeah. This? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is grit. <laughs> I try to, one of the things I try to do, one is, take your vitamins that's the one thing i say is you should always take your vitamins uh especially i live in the pacific northwest of uh, united states for college and it's super gloomy here and i'm from vegas where it's super sunny so vitamin d is something that's super like yeah yeah so when i'm here i have to take vitamin d or else i'll be like low in my mood um and then i also try to breathe when i'm getting like that and then another thing is write down like like writing down, if I'm really bad in my head, writing down like, okay, what are you like? What are you actually worried about? Um, oh, what are that's thought- a good idea. Yeah, and then what like what are like thoughts that like could happen? The worst things that could happen or could have happened, and the best things that could have happened, and then what probably yeah. happened? You know, yeah. or what probably is gonna happen? So yeah. it's finding that balance of good and bad to keep you growing yeah. and keep you getting better, but also not keeping you like contained in like chains. That's what I do. Yeah, I feel. I feel like you start try and think sometimes. Like, like when I, when I think, I'm like, why? Why am I thinking this? Why? Why? You just try and answer the question. Like you say, you're asking, answer, asking questions, and they go, like, why? Why? Why is this coming? And now, why? Why? And what's the issue? And then, like I said, but it's good as an idea to write them down, and it might become easier to clarity. It's like it's once you get them. I feel like for me, it's like once you get them, um, then thoughts and out, out, um identified as just thoughts and instead of it and set this uh, disattaching them from physically you i just think there's just i think they're just a just a thought and I, i've tried to think of me like no no not like the drunk monkey in your head a little bit like that that that, that he's just constantly trying to throw things out to get your attention mm-hmm. i try to keep thinking like that and just think he's just he's just someone who's trying to put a movie reel, you know movie reel on you on, on the time and he's just trying he knows you you you're scared of the the you know, the not the good ones. So he keeps pulling them out. You know, he gets more of a reaction from them. So I'll try and try and think of it in that way. But, um, but yeah, but writing it down is a good idea. I feel like because that's as long as it me for me, it's just trying to see if you can get them out and realize they're not not part of you. But that's a good idea. I'm like, I'm going to write that down. Actually, the the write the, write them down. Here, so <laughs> not every get them out and you can read them. Yeah, and see how stupid they are. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That, then you'll realize, yeah, because it sounds you, so yeah. right in your head. Negative thoughts yeah. sound so correct yeah. when they're speaking to you. Like you suck. You're not good. You're not gonna. Yeah. Be well. <laughs> it sounds so right, and then you write them down and be like, "No, I don't." And yeah, then your, yeah, ego, exactly. your ego starts to get, "No, I don't." And then, <laughs> it's a constant balance yeah, 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 of yeah, like yeah. conscious and subconscious mind. 